so this is sad news we got sad news uh, everybody's moving out of the dorm because they had an emergency meeting and Wildwood is closing so I'm at the uh, girls young girls dorm and We have international students here who are finding themselves trying to scramble to get tickets. Uh, some of them uh, have actually have run into border issues because you know some of the countries are closed, uh, but this is where the younger uh, students have stayed, and now they are being told that they have so much time to get out and leave. Um, it's disappointing that we have come to this point at Wildwood. Um, you know, we all have our opinion why the de you know about the decisions being. This is the effect of what this coronavirus is doing in people's lives now. So, all of us are being affected on many different levels, many many different levels. So I am in my a friend's dorm. This is the adult dorm for the families, and. One of my friends is going back to New York. There are two other uh, couple, oh, there's another couple here that is from Brazil and they don't feel convicted about going back to Brazil right now. Uh, so they really don't know what they're gonna do but they feel convicted that they're going to leave. But uh, this is the situation from dorm to dorm. Uh, um, we have been told that we have to vacate and we have only so much time to vacate. Uh, and this is the thing that we've been praying for. Although our leaders have made that decision for us, there are a lot of us adults who are not feeling the conviction that the Lord is telling us to leave. The Lord is calling us to leave. He brought us here for a purpose. So this coronavirus is affecting not just you at home, obviously, because there's so many people now that can't work. There's kids that can't go to school now. I mean, it's crazy. Um, the impact it's having. Um, it seems to me that a lot of it is over the top, over the top. And it's going to be interesting how this all plays out. But this is their dorm, and it will be closing soon. Well, here is the education center. A beautiful day, um, in spite of some of the things that are going on in the campus. I just got done eating lunch with a, a, a lot of our students, and many of the international students are, of course, leaving. The Brazilian students are having a hard time finding uh, a way to get into their country because the borders are closed, Australia is closed. And even some of the people who are from the United States, I think, I think a lot of them are to the point where it's not so much about can they go home, it's about, you know, the Lord convicted them to come here and now they are being told that they have to go and, and there's some real concerns about that because decisions are a strong group of us who are, are, are being convicted to really stay and despite the fact that uh, classes are going to be online, we want to stay. We want to stay and whatever we can do to stay. So, you know, it's funny, you know, you, you see this American flag and, and I'm reminded we're still in America. We're still in America. And, and I think we have, we're having to make decisions that we have never had to make before. Uh, but sometimes there is such a knee jerk reaction that we are, we again are, we're not looking up to the heavens. So when I got the news just the other night about the campus closing and their emergency meeting, I, w I had great peace because I know the Lord brought me here for a purpose. And if he's convicting me to leave, I'll leave. Um, but right now I don't feel that conviction. It's, it's an odd place to be. But I know many of you are sitting at home and the problem with sitting at home is you're not working, your children aren't going to school, and you're probably sitting there wrestling with the, with the, same, the same thoughts like, what does the Lord 
want from me right now? What is what does the future bring? Um, you know, many people are waiting for President Trump to talk. They're trying to figure out um, what is he going to say? When when is he going to lift these bans? Is this going to go on forever? I mean, is the cow, my friends? As you as you sit home and you're watching this on YouTube, you know, my life is changing dr dramatically. Your life is tra changing dramatically. And you know, my friends, things may never really be the same. And this could be, I mean, remember when we had a 9-11 and what happened? And, you know, some of our rights got taken away for the, for the, for the, the promise uh, of more safety. And I don't know right now what our future holds. But, you know, as I look at this American flag, I'm like, don't forget the heavens. Don't forget God. He puts leaders into positions and he takes them out of positions for a reason. And you know what? God is still in control and running this country. So have the faith in that and pray for our leader. So back here in my dorm, I'm not packing up and I am just continuing to pray. And I think if anything, and I know the consensus here with everybody that I've talked to, is perhaps this is a shaking, uh, a shaking to wake up and realize how quickly things can change. And I, I really think that God is giving us an opportunity to make some changes in our life. Uh, you know, when we talk about fighting this coronavirus, it starts with your immune system. And how many of us are not taking care of ourselves? How many of us uh, have continued bad habits, bad eating habits? You know, we're not eating how, what we should be eating. We're indulging in things we shouldn't be indulging in. We are not exercising. We're not, we're not taking care of the temple. So if you think about that, you know, God may be saying, you know, how many of us have overlooked really making sure that we are prepared for hard times. You know, I, I have been obviously advocating for years, trying to teach people to get prepared, trying to teach people how to can, trying to teach people how to start their own gardens, uh, things that they, they need to stock up on, uh, skills that they need. And, you know, it wasn't by accident that the Lord sent me here uh, to this medical missionary stu uh, school because he was even teaching me more skills that had to do with with not having the tools that surround our daily lives. You know, what happens again? You know, right now, um, you know, the, the grocery stores uh, are, the, the shelves are being clear, cleaned out. But what happens if, you know, what happens if you lose electricity? What's your backup plan? Do you have a backup plan? I notice a lot of people are watching my older videos and I'm going to be posting uh, some archive uh, videos. So be watching for that. The, these archive videos have not been released to the public. They're from the homestead and they're teaching videos. And now is the time to start watching those videos because it's not too late to start planning. You know, this came as a surprise to me, this whole emergency we need to leave Wildwood. And decisions had to be made. And when we have the government and we have county officials and state officials uh, making the rules, we are at their mercy many times, but we are still under the sovereign con um, guide of our God. So I'm telling you right now, it is not too late to start planning and prepping and changing things in your life. Changing the way that you eat. I've always advocated uh, all the sustainable preps are nothing if you don't have your health. And maybe God is giving us and you a wake-up call, right? So I'm going to plug this in and get this uploaded for you, friends. And I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, but I am at peace because I know I have, I have the Lord um, guiding every step every step of the way and you too trust and believe in that this is not some oh you know the, the, nobody knows what's gonna to the, next week and a month from now and maybe we'll be under lockdown for you know 15 months 12 what stop stop 
trust in the maker that this is a time of awakening and it is a great opportunity to start buying your green stock planters, uh, time to start buying your seeds, time to start uh, getting prepared with, if you don't have electricity, do you have a generator? Cheap as gas now. Start doing these things. Start doing these things. I just put up a video on Patreon about things to buy right now. It's, it's a wake-up call. And I'm in the midst of the wake-up call. And if I can do anything, it is going to be to help you, friends, keep connected, keep your focus on what matters, and get ready. Because there's going to be more. All right, I love you guys, and thank you. Thank you, thank you for still being here. And um, we're going to get through it together.